What is happening guys? Cowboy here, and man, we're looking good on upgrades. So just notice I had like, just basically a buttload of XP. Uh, went ahead and picked up this, so I got five targets on my lock-on now. Additionally, I went ahead and picked up this, so I got the stance swap. I got this thing, so after the pause, I can do uh, two basically AoE whirlwinds. And I have whirlwind throw, so that if I need to knock people away, I have access to that. And I'm still ignoring most of this tree, but that's that's okay. I like using the axe. Um, went ahead and got this, so now I have massive shock as well as massive stun, and massive increase to arrow and melee damage, which is maxed. So two more here, and uh, the bow is gonna be looking good. So when we get to the bow, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Damn right, we could go exploring. Nightmares, ugh! What awful pests! Incoming! Almost ready! Well done! Is that it for the what nightmares? You are more focused. Here's your map. While we hail from Alfheim, the Light Elves make sure to watch over Midgard. I've spent most of my life here at this outpost and will likely die here. Building cinders, seven world serpent scale fragments. That's what I need to upgrade. Hail from Alfheim. Light Elves make sure to watch over. Waterfall. Wondering if it's just near the uh, Midgard outpost. Die, bird. Let's see what's up here. I think we may start exploring. Blacksmith. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Raft. Whoa! Super badass stuff. Two sockets, smoldering embers, hack silver. Armor forged in the realm of fire. Nice. Moderate perk activation chance to inflict concussive burn damage to nearby enemies when damage is taken. Uh, I don't really like the idea of having to take damage, though. I mean, the set looks badass, but I don't like where it's like, oh yeah, you're going to have to get hit. Taken. Fiery shield that inflicts burn damage to enemies and prevents an eruption when damage is taken. And aura of fire strength and restoring health when damage is taken. Man, it's, it's cool to see, like, full-blown sets. Probably do this if I went for a full set. Strength and restore a small amount of health when damage is taken. It's like, if I get hit, I'm getting buffed up. Flame. Low perk to grant Wrath of Flame on any successful hit. Greatly increases strength, restores a small amount of health, and fires a wave of energy on normal attacks. That sounds pretty badass. This, summon a raging Muselhelm maelstrom that prevents Kratos' attacks from being interrupted and reduces the amount of damage he takes and inflicts normal and burn damage to all nearby enemies. That's also really 
badass sounding. I like that. But a lot. But this thing has been proven to be pretty fucking dope. World Serpent Scale and Lepetir Alloy, though. So this is Strength, Runic, and Luck. What is the other pommel I could make? Strength and Runic. Big increase to strength, health, and fire stuff. Explosion of lightning that shocks all nearby enemies. Panagost is probably going to be what I want to keep. Hardened steel. Oh, what is this? Increased stats and grants resistance to burn damage. I don't have any of that stuff. Legendary enchantment. That's a random stat bonus, along with increasing the damage inflicted by the breath of Thamir Runic. At the Frost to Ancient, Blessings of Frost. Random stat bonus, along with high chance to grant a short boost to strength when using the beasts of Helmheim Rune. Oh, I can buy soft steel now. My stuff if that needs solid. It's hardened. And for the youngster. That needs hardened. Something else for you then? Ah, isn't that neat? Nothing? Oh, okay. I was just coming to say hello, dwarf. Looks like there's a fair amount of uh, upgrading forward to as we progress further. Take me back down there. Let's see where this goes. of Valkyries. Okay. Council of Valkyries sounds pretty badass. What is this place? Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Head. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here. Teleport here, which suggests it's important. Travel to this yet? Since channel, can't do anything here just yet. But yeah, there's definitely there's gonna be some value to coming to this place later, whether it's like some badass quest or something. I don't know what, but something. Next. 
chest, but surrounded by a bunch of, bunch of gold. Let's see if there's any, uh, hang on. Solid steel, world serpent scale, let's go. I mean, there was a lot of badass stuff in the realm of fire, but the one thing that's kind of throwing me for a loop here is a lot of that gear sounded so good. That I'm wondering Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom like how baby difficult that area stone? is. Badass. And metal forging. Strength runic vitality. Strength runic. So this boosts my strength, my deep. But this is obviously the more defensive option. It's a uh, crap. Um, I don't suppose you can try it's keeping that clean. I'll keep my wrist and I'll use ancient thing. Tide you over. Solid steel takes two. Solid steel takes two. Fine piece of work. If I say so myself. That, this will amazing. get me by until I have enough to get one of the like more bad assets. Upgrades. All I need is lip tier alloy and my fist of Thor upgrades. And for you, it's hardened. Don't let the dragger get you. Now for let's do axe throws and. that it's just the dark elf and the burn damage resist all right pretty badass oh man I'm so torn because on one hand going to the fire realm sounds badass on the other the gear from the Fire Realm looks so good, it's making me think that based on the quality of gear being shown, I might not be in a position to fuck with that right now. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Didn't that do? Tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. Tell you this story later. Level are they? Be ready. Oh, here we go. 
Okay. That. Oh shit. That was a huge waste. can't fuck with these rifts for the most part. They're just too beefy. I mean, the previous rifts we were fighting enemies were listed at like four. These ones are listed at like was it five or six. So that ain't happening. Fucking White Walkers. Oh. Ah, back here. I always wonder what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like, Fafnir store on Fafnir? The very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. And now he's a dragon. Hold up. Isn't Fafnir's storeroom here, though? It's funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads. Well, I mean, I'm okay with helping him. This might come in handy when I uh, go to his storeroom later. No friend of mine. This little stroke was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Never answered the boy's question there. How did this dwarf become a dragon? I don't know for certain. Though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. He must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Vanir goddess. It was a hell of a lot easier than uh, Blast Dragon we had to free. Oh. Never fought one of these things.
Oh, that was so close. I got that execute just in time to avoid taking damage from Mr. Greatsword. Changed since we lost cross paths. I had legs. I gotta decide if I want to go Muselheim from here or what I want to do. Boy. Lucilfheim, explore, or continue the story. I kind of want to get more unlock stuff. Like, I can do the, the red shit now, do the light, but I feel like it'd be useful to have a little bit more before proceeding. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck, dude? What a douchebag. Should have known it was gonna be too easy. Dodge, dodge! Oh, oh my God! Get off of me, dude! Fuck these dudes! They were just like wombo, 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 combo. I like swung and swung and swung and swung. Like, fuck off. Bitch, sit down. Where's the last one at? What's the dragon killing him? Yes, sir. 
Free the dragon boy. A wee little bugger. <laughs> well, I think Dragon hasn't done much for his personality. Scale the chain. Blessing of Runic would attack. Light of Fafnir. Freed two dragons and killed one so far. Get lots of world serpent scales. I really want to do this Fafnir's Horde thing, but I don't know how the hell to get back over to that area. In either way, taking a look at our time. This is about the point when we're going to wrap this one on up. So, managed to free a dragon. That was a nice little side thing, kind of tucked away. But regardless, I'm going to close out here. Um, I'm going to figure out what the hell I want to do, whether it's going to be... Um, I, don't, I don't know whether it's going to be going to a new area altogether, like Muselheim, or just doing some more exploration... I will figure it out before the next episode. I'll probably look up and, and see, uh... Because Muselheim sounds badass, but... I have this just, you know, based on what I've seen of the like armor. This. I feel like the whole area is going to be like these rifts. In which case, obviously, I'm not going to go there right now. So, I'm going to look up, see what kind of level the enemies are in that area. And then based on that, we'll kind of make our choice on where we should go and what we should do. So either way, make sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you guys next time with more God of War.